Hey guys, Zuzu Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to do another crystal video today because you guys seem to love the crystal videos and I can sit here and talk about crystals all day. So that's a good combination as far as I'm concerned. You like them. I like doing them. We're good. So we're going to do crystals for empaths. Are you an empath? I'm an empath. Do you know what an empath is? If you want to know, or if you are one, stay tuned, because that's what we're doing today. Are you an empath? I'm an empath. Do you know what an empath is? If not, here we go. So the term empath comes from the word empathy and empathy is the ability to understand uh, experiences, feelings, thoughts, emotions of others outside of your own perspective, right? So a lot of times people will say, oh, that person lacks empathy. And that just means that they are unable to understand other people's perspectives because they can only see theirs. They can only understand theirs. And we get into a lot of trouble that way. And so empath is taking it a step further so it's not only understanding the experiences feelings and emotions you actually feel and sense these feelings emotions uh experiences and it can be a little overwhelming especially if you don't know you're an empath because a lot of times empaths especially those that don't know are absorbing you're just absorbing and absorbing all of these emotions all of these feelings, all of these experiences that are not yours. But if you don't know this, you probably are going through a roller coaster of feelings and you don't even know where they're coming from. So I know when I was younger, uh, pretty much like elementary school and high school, I didn't know what an empath was. I didn't learn what an empath was until I was in high school. And so I didn't realize that that's what I was, right? And I, all I did know was I did not like being around large groups of people, large crowds, and a lot of people that I didn't know. And I didn't know why I didn't like that. And the reason why was because I was absorbing all of those emotions, all of those feelings, all of those experiences that were not mine. I'm a very happy-go-lucky person. Like, I've always been one. Just happy-go-lucky. And to be able to tap into someone who's anxious depressed, sad, angry, and absorb that, and it's not yours, is really overwhelming. Now, the flip side of that is that you also do this with people who are happy and joyous. And so it's just not one-sided. It's it's definitely a two-way street. You, you just feel it. You sense it. You experience it like it's yours. And so I want to give you some crystals that can help you with this because the goal of an empath is to observe not to absorb. Observe. Don't absorb. It's not yours. You don't need to take it in. So the first crystal, my favorite crystal, one of my favorite crystals, I, you, you guys know I don't have a favorite crystal, but one of my favorite crystals for empaths for myself is black tourmaline. Black tourmaline. Oh my goodness. Black tourmaline. If you are an empath, you need some black tourmaline in your life. One of my favorite ways to use this, of course, is to wear it. And so I have all sorts of black tourmaline in the shop. You can use code YouTube love to get 10% off. Shameless plug. But um, black tourmaline. Uh, you need black tourmaline in your life if you're an empath. Black tourmaline is associated with the root chakra. And the root chakra, when balanced, you feel safe and secure. You feel like you stand in your own power. And that is what you want to feel like. In general, but particularly as an empath, because you're taking on so many different feelings and emotions and experiences that are not yours to keep, right? They're yours to observe and to actually be able to tap into humanity and know what's going on, but don't, don't hold it. Don't hold it. And so black tourmaline is also a protective stone, right? So it kind of gobbles up that negative energy. Uh, 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 uh. It gets it like Pac-Man. It's like, uh, uh. and it's just gobbling it up, gobbling it up. So you 
don't have to hold it. Now you wanna make sure that you cleanse your black tourmaline, particularly if you have like jewelry. What I'll do is, so I don't wear black tourmaline, although it is one of my favorites. And the reason why I'm saying this one is because I feel like this one is easier to find and it's affordable. I wear this piece here, which has Tibetan tectite, which has a very similar energy. And so you wanna make sure you cleanse this because it's gobbling up that energy. And so you wanna cleanse it, I'll take it off at night, I'll put it in a selenite bowl or on a bed of uh, crystal clusters just to kind of cleanse it and clear it energetically. But our black tourmaline is beautiful. Like I said, it's a grounding stone. It's a protective st uh, stone, particularly psychic protection, right? Because sometimes you'll feel like you're under attack when you're an empath and you're around a lot of the people. And sometimes you are, you know, sometimes people are deliberately trying to bombard you with these emotions and feelings. And so having black tourmaline by your side really helps you stand in your power and helps you kind of sort these feelings and emotions out without absorbing them so you know okay that's not mine that's yours and i'm not going to sit here and feel it as if it's mine however i can observe it so i know what you're going through rose quartz i pretty much cannot do a crystal video with without talking about rose quartz like i don't know rose quartz is just a fan fave and it's a fan fave for a reason because it's awesome Right, so here I have my rose quartz uh, bracelet on, which, like I said, if you're an empath, you really want to, well, for most crystal, uh, you want to wear your crystals. And so wearing it is a really easy way to always have it with you. And you don't have to like dig in your pocket and look for this and start rubbing. If you have it on already, you're good to go. And so rose quartz is associated with the heart chakra. That is your love, your self-love, your compassion, right? Your light. And so with rose quartz, I find it beautiful to have this on you because you don't take on so much of that darkness, the dark perspective or the dark energy that you are um, witnessing and feeling and sensing. You don't take it on because you're able to stay in your light and your love. I mean, unless you are the one that is having these uh, emotions and that's a whole nother story and we can deal with that crystals for that at another time. But uh, right now we're just talking about when others have it and it's you're feeling like you're absorbing it. And so rose quartz really helps you stay in your light and your love. And like I said before, staying in your power, because that's what this is about. You are the architect of your universe. You get to decide the thoughts, the feelings and the emotions that you are going to have. And if you are not doing that, then chances are someone else is deciding those thoughts, feelings, and emotions that you're going to have, and you might not like the outcome. And so go ahead and take control and take your power of who you are and stand in that. And Rose Quartz can help you just do that from a very loving perspective, from a very light love perspective. And everything isn't always about light and love, right? We know there's got to be balance. There's light and there's darkness, right? You have the light self, you have the shadow self, and you have to be in tune and in balance with it. But coming from a loving, compassionate space, heart space, is where you want to uh, be. And so rose quartz can help you do that. And um, I'm pretty much always have either a rose quartz or a rhodochrosite bracelet on. Uh, just to remember that heart space and to remember that compassion because sometimes when you're unable to kind of separate what you feel and think and your opinions from others, you can kind of uh, lose your compassion and you don't want to do that. You want to be able to connect. You want to be able to feel and observe the absorb last but certainly not least we've got selenite oh i love this selenite merkaba look at that is it not a beauty oh my goodness it's a beauty so i have selenite and i've got so many different types of selenite just because i love and adore selenite it's one of my top five favorite crystals and uh, you can have something as simple as this you can have a nice wand which i really love a double terminated wand um, and so selenite is cleansing, it's charging, it's clearing. Selenite is a beautiful healing stone. Selenite does not have to be uh, cleansed. I cleanse it anyway, just because I'm like, hmm, I feel like you need this selenite. I'm going to do this for you. But selenite is used to cleanse and charge 
crystals and just like it's used to cleanse and charge crystals you can cleanse and charge yourself with selenite and so a lot of times when i come in from the world when i come in from being outside and peopling i use selenite and it can be a wand it can be just a stick like this and i cleanse my field my energy field my org field because you get a lot of stuff sticking to you right a lot of debris sticking to you like lint like negative lint and you don't want to have that absorbed into your space especially if you're an empath it's very easy for it to do so and so you know you just want to go ahead and give yourself an energy energetic shower a spiritual shower a spiritual bath with your selenite and that will help get rid of some of that denseness and some of that energy that you don't want to hold on to and so i love selenite for that and selenite is just a beautiful loving light stone look at it i mean look look at the light in there you get that moon feeling and um i love it and so this is a must now selenite is kind of soft so jewelry isn't always the best however i do have some selenite jewelry um particularly pendants necklaces and so if it's here it might be a little better but you wouldn't want like a selenite bracelet especially if you're rough like me i'm always clinking and banging you wouldn't want that but um you can have something like this in your pocket and you can do this sometimes when i'm out and about and i have to people i've got my selenite in my hand i'm just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> as i'm peopling because sometimes peopling is tough when you're an empath and especially uh, if it's a lot of people you're just being hit with so much which is why a lot of times empaths can become very cold because you put up these barriers boom boom and you're not really cold but what you're doing is you're putting up these barriers to block out and so that's how i used to do when I was much younger, I just put up these barriers and, and there's nothing that can get in there because I just didn't know how to sort through and say, this is mine, this is not mine. I'm gonna throw that back out. You can keep that, that's yours, you can have it. And so I would just put up these barriers. And I still do, like if I'm out and about with a lot of people, I go ahead and put my armor up, boom, because I'm not about to do all of that. It's a lot of work. And so I'll go ahead and I decide who I want to like open up and let in and then boom, we close that right back up. But um, really you want to learn to observe. You want to be able to be in a space where you don't have to do that. And we're all moving into our higher selves. And as you do that, you come up with the better ways to handle situations based off of who you are. And so selenite is one of my favorites. I was only going to give you three. And then I started thinking about more and was like, I have to do an honorable mention. I have to. And you know what it is. What do you think honorable mention is? I mention it all the time. Lepidolite. Lepidolite is honorable mention, okay? I have to throw lepidolite in there. So lepidolite has that lithium in it, which is fabulous for anxiety. So a lot of times when you are an empath, you find yourself in high anxiety, especially when you have to people. And it's because you are absorbing all of this energy, of course, all of these feelings, emotions, of course you're gonna be anxious because you're like, what is going on here? Why am I feeling like this? And so lepidolite is the one, is somebody deep in their horn outside like a maniac, because it's New York City and that's what they do. So, lepidolite, really, really? Do you guys hear that? Like, come on. So, lepidolite is really wonderful for, <laughs> somebody's going crazy with that horse. Lepidolite is really wonderful for that anxiety, right? So you don't feel as stressed and anxious. It's soothing, you can rub it. You can have lepidolite jewelry. I do have some lepidolite jewelry in the shop. You can have a lepidolite palm stone. I've got some worry stones and you can just have it in your pocket and do like that. And so I had to mention lepidolite. I had to because it's one of my favorites for anxiety and stress. It's, it's absolutely one of my favorites. And so lepidolite. So those are my top crystals for empaths. If you were an empath, have you worked with the, any of these crystals? Which one is your favorite? Do you have any other crystals that you work with that you'd like everyone else who's an empath to know about? Drop them in the comments. There are quite a few crystals that work well for empaths. These are just my top favorites and the ones that I work with. So, like, 
comment, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Zuzu Natural. Peace out.